This year, the Nautilus is equipped with a shipboard mounted multibeam system. The idea of a multi-beam sonar is that it maps the seafloor using sound. I mean, one of the exciting things is that we're using this multi-beam technology in a non-traditional method. Much of the seafloor has yet to be discovered or even mapped to a very high resolution. So what the shipboard multi-beam system allows us to do is to gather data about the topography or the bathymetry of the terrain of the ocean floor. So as the ship is advancing over the seafloor, it's sending out more pulses of sound, waiting for those returns, and adding those pulses up into what looks like a very uh, wide strip of soundings or creating a map of the seafloor. Those images can be converted to 3D profiles, which, yes, they can look very cool for you know, outreach or development or even you know, scientific art. But what they really do is they have the ability to show scientists what the seafloor looks like, which can translate to things like where trenches are. What has happened subsea as far as like tsunamis and landslides? We can learn about continental shelves. We can learn about things like vent fields. And knowing where these seeps are and how abundant they are can help scientists understand things like the amount of greenhouse gases that are being uh, contributed from these natural hydrocarbon seeps on the seafloor. Because it's an acoustic signal, it will reflect back to the ship if it intercepts an anomaly within the water column. This anomaly could be something such as a bubble. So when these characteristics or anomalies are observed, it tells us something about the water column and what could potentially lie below that water column. Once the data has been collected by mapping specialists and multi-beam focused people, they are able to process this data and the resulting images are large swaths of multi-beam tracks, we call it, which are topographic or bathymetric profiles of the seafloor. Now, why do we care and what do we do with those? We get to see things like seamounts and vent fields, which are places that we may want to return to and map or explore at a higher resolution. So, this multi-beam system on the Nautilus is very important. What this will allow us to do is explore places which may seem interesting or different from the multi-beam and determine if they really are interesting or different. It will allow us to determine the potential for new biological communities, unknown geologic features, and my personal interest at the moment is vent fields.